the examination pattern has changed to uh, subjective questions so we'll be focusing mostly on how to write proper answers uh, now it's very difficult to predict what kind of questions might come but at least we need to be uh, prepared on some very common topics so that whatever question comes in line to that you know uh, broad heads you are at least able to write some introduction and followed by the main body of the answer and then obviously the conclusion so we'll be following few writing techniques and i hope this will be helpful uh, so the first thing that we'll do whenever we uh, come across any question that is to introduce the topic so how we are going to identify that from which topic the question has come that will definitely be based on the question that is there and we'll see how we can examine that and properly introduce the topic followed by what we will do is we will try to write the answers in paragraphs so uh, think from a, from the perspective of the exam of the answer sheet um, i mean the uh, um, whoever will be assigned to check the answer scripts right so obviously uh, they'll be uh, you know expecting some kind of crisp answers from you all so the best way is to write in paragraphs with headings that also we are going to discuss how we are going to write in that way and try and write in bullet points uh, uh, you know the more you write in long sentences and you know long paragraphs then what will happen the whoever is checking your answer will lose his or her own focus so it's better to write in points okay we'll focus on various data uh, wherever applicable uh, then we'll obviously try and avoid writing long sentences we'll underline the key points so for every answer that we have there will definitely be some key points right that is what the answer is made up of so we are going to underline the key points whichever we feel that they are important and that needs to be highlighted so that is also important will include different flowcharts or diagrams wherever applicable of course in urban planning not everywhere you can you know give any kind of diagram or something like that it's not always possible but at least we'll try to do that again how we can incorporate different flowcharts and diagrams that also we are going to see and most important once you introduce the topic that is basically the introduction uske baad you have the main body of of the answer so once you are done with your explanation with everything there is always a requirement of giving a conclusion so how we write the conclusion the conclusion will be a very generic thing but we'll see that how we can provide a conclusion or some kind of opinion if the question is you know some kind of state your opinion or something like that in such a scenario we are going to put some one or two lines of our opinion at the end of course it will be very generic 